Good morning. It's Monday morning. My name is Missy Ballison. Good morning. Um, I'm a personal trainer, a massage therapist, and behavior change specialist. And my scopes are about bite-sized bits of fitness that you can take actionable tips every day. So today is actually Motivation Monday. Good morning. That's my hub. Um, but today I decided we're gonna fit a workout in because it's motivating. So we're gonna do a high intensity interval training today. Good morning, and we actually did Motivation Monday yesterday. So if you're looking for your motivational scope, yesterday I did one on smiling, and we talked about how smiling and using the smiling muscles can stimulate the brain to think that it enjoys an activity and to make an activity feel like it's not as hard. So that's how I kind of related smiling to fat burning because if you're smiling, your brain thinks, hey, I'm digging this, then the activity doesn't seem as hard, therefore you can work harder, and therefore you burn more fat. So go check that out, that's still live. Did that one yesterday afternoon. Thanks for joining this morning. Um, is that Ralph? Hi Ralph, I hope you're doing the workout today. So, um, and I got that other thing loaded for you, Ralph, so it should be on YouTube, so just go check it out. So again, my name is Missy Ballison, personal trainer. Today we're gonna do a 10 minute HIIT workout. The first time I go through it, I'm gonna go uh, a high intensity. The second time I go through it, I'm gonna do modified exercises. So those of you that can't jump, or are just getting started, or just not so sure about high intensity interval training, can choose which one you want to do. So the whole idea of high intensity interval training, and sometimes when you're searching online, you'll see it written as capital H-I-I-T, so it's HIT training. What that does is during the time that you're working, it's a short, fast and furious workout. You're pushing really hard, but you have to remember it's very short, so you can get through this. The whole idea is to really boost your metabolism, like crank that thermostat up, so that for the next 24 to 36 hours, you're burning fat as your metabolism is slowly, am I frozen? Hmm, am I, am I still moving on my side, so I'm just gonna keep going. So, um, so that way your metabolism is cranked up and then it will start to uh, gradually come down. And that during that time when it's cranked up and gradually coming down, you're burning fat as your fuel source, even during rest. So high intensity interval training is an awesome way to get a short, fast, furious workout done when you don't have a lot of time, but you get a ton of bang for your buck, okay? So I would love it if you would share these broadcasts with your friends. Uh, these are, like I said, quick, bite-sized ways that you can get fit. I've got Motivation Monday, which I did on Sunday this week, um, and then we have uh, Workout Wednesday, so I'm gonna be here Wednesday morning for another workout. Thursday is Therapy Thursday, where I take um, bits and pieces of the body parts and that usually suffer injuries, and I go over how to, how to deal with those and how to prevent them. This week, we're talking about plantar fasciitis, which is a pain in the foot. <laughs> and then Friday is Foodie Friday, where we talk about um, different you know, food and physiology, what happens in the body when you eat certain foods and things like that. So if you have things you wanna learn about, put it in the comments and I will be able to address those for you, okay? Um, you can find me at secondwindfitness.net, that's with a two ND, so I've got lots of stuff on my page and so go check that out because I've got all these scopes saved there under the forums page and workouts, which is live for everybody right now until December when I turn it to a membership site. All right, let's get going. So uh, today I am gonna wear my weighted vest. So these are an awesome tool to just add just a little bit more to your workout. Um, got it on Amazon and this one weighs, um, 12 pounds, there's others that weigh 10, there's some that weigh a ton. I like these because even though they don't weigh a whole bunch, they add just a little bit more to a workout like the one I'm gonna do. Um, and they're nice and snug, so they're not jumping around. Although when I do burpees, it kind of shifts a little bit. But um, I love this weighted vest, it's great to add to walking, hill climbing, um, any of your workouts such as lunges where you might not have a set of dumbbells, but you could add a little bit of weight to the exercise, okay? So I'm gonna do my whole thing with the weighted vest today. Gonna hold the workout up for you to see. Like I said before, if you're just joining in or watching the replay, it's a 10 minute high intensity interval training workout. Um, good morning. Um, so here it is, I'm gonna hold it up for you to see. And the reason I wanna do this is so that you can screenshot the workout. If you decide you're gonna do this a little bit later, you could write this down. There we go, I've got the whole thing on there. You could write this down on an index card so that you could keep a little file of these workouts and then you could do them on your own, which would be awesome. So what we're gonna do, one, thanks for the hearts. <laughs> what we're gonna do, one minute each, we're gonna do jumping jacks, 
then football runs, mountain climbers, plank jacks, and then burpees. And we're gonna go through it two times through, okay? The first time through, I'm gonna go at a high intensity, full on, and then the second time through, I'm gonna go through, thanks to the hearts, gonna, they match my vest, whoever has the purpley blue hearts. <laughs> um, the second time through, I'm gonna show modifications. So I would love if you would share this. You can tap the little guy on your screen, and it's hard to read sideways, so worked out today. So, oh, awesome, good job for whoever worked out this morning, um, save this for tomorrow morning. So um, yeah, so tap the little guy on your screen, share it with your friends, because my whole goal here is to reach people that don't have time to go to the gym, don't really want to go to the gym, um, and maybe are a little timid about starting exercise. That's why I wanna give two modifications for these. Okay, are you ready? So I'm gonna step back a little bit. I gotta step way back here. So, all right, one minute each. Um, the other thing you could do for these jumping jacks is to hold hand weights if your shoulders are healthy. Today I've got my vest, so I'm not gonna worry about my hand weights. All right, ready? I've already warmed up. Just so you know, when you do hit workouts, you have to warm up first. Um, all right, ready? Go. So, a long way from your comments. Can't really sing them, so you guys have to help each other out and answer comments from each other. So, if you're doing this with me, you're probably not bored. <laughs> I'm thinking maybe I just need to go, like, how about I go 30 seconds of each, because I imagine most of you are just watching it. So, I'll just do 30 seconds of each today, and when you do it on your own, you can go an entire minute. Okay? So, there's no rest here. I didn't factor any rest in, because the whole idea of a hip workout is that you want to push, well, I only have 15 seconds, might as well go a minute. <laughs> the whole idea of a hit workout is that you want to push until you can't, and then rest until you can. So it's all based on your fitness level. You're going to push as hard as you can go until you absolutely have to rest, and then right into the football run. Okay? So you're going to go as hard as you can go until you have to rest, and then take the shortest amount of rest that you need to. So for this particular workout, I didn't factor any rest in. Sometimes I do, but today it's just a little bit different. Oh. So the football runs, they push and they burn a little bit. Can't read your comments, so sorry. <laughs> you guys should post, if you already worked out today, you should post what you did for your workout because it can help somebody else. And if there's anything that you want to see for these workout or motivation days, oh, get low. After you start doing these, you're gonna start coming up a little bit. I want you to get low. So if there's anything you wanna see for these, put it in the comments, because I'll read them on the replay, and I can take notes for what you want next. All right, it's burning, but I only have six seconds to go. So I'm gonna push it through. Very good. All right, down to your mountain climbers. So hands on the floor, keep your hips low. Don't bounce too much here in the feet. This should be lots of abs. And drive it. So crunching your abdominals here. Take those knees up high. Whew, dance falling down. Here we go. Drive it up, abs tight. Tuck your hips under and take it like a sprint. It's always good on hit day. It's not using music because I want you to hear me, but on hit day, it's always good to be using a high, fast beat so you can keep up with that beat and sprint. Sprint. Good job. All right, we have seven seconds to go. Watch all those burpees if you're not looking down at your feet. Keep your eyes between your hands. Okay, going right into plank jacks. If you have wrist issues, you can do plank jacks on your elbows. So I'm gonna hold my body nice and flat. Try not to bump your hips way up or arch your back down here. I want a nice, Flat tabletop, and we're gonna jack your legs out and in. Good. Keep your abs tight. Now, if you find yourself that you're wobbling in your mid back as you're going to this and this and this, then I want you to slow that plank jack down like this. We don't want to walk, risk the low back when you're doing this. Keep the abs nice and tight. You can take it down to your elbows. Ooh, we can make this a good tricep workout too. We can go up and down. 
<laughs> Here we go. Because that's not enough, right? Okay, got about eight seconds left. One more exercise. That's only five minute round. Okay, coming up to our burpees. So, same rule applies with the burpees, with the low back. Don't let that low back wobble. Keep it nice and strong. If anything, I'd like to see your hips just slightly higher rather than lower. All right, here we go with the burpees. Burp again. Oh, keep it up. I'm gonna check your comments because I feel bad. Oh, you guys are talking to each other. That's perfect. Keep talking. Don't forget to write in the comments what you did for a workout today. Good. Up. Oh. If you have a workout vest or you plan to get one, let me know. Love my workout vest. Everybody loves burpees, right? Okay, I'm almost done with round one. Just a couple of seconds to go. Okay, entering into round two. This time through, I'm gonna show you the modifications. I'm gonna take it down a notch, and this is for people that don't necessarily like to jump. Aw, oh, you're so nice. <laughs> That's awesome, I'm so glad you guys are here. Cause it's early here. It's six o'clock here-ish, almost seven. Okay, let's go, here's some modifications. Uh, I wanted to tell you that doing your, I'll do it while I talk, okay? So we can get you going. Okay, so I'm doing a jumping jack. Just right here. Just do like a jack tap, jack tap, like this, okay? I want you to feel through these scopes that just because you may be out of shape, you might be overweight, you might be embarrassed to go to the gym, I'll tell you while I work here that I used to work at a big gym for about 15 years, and what I would see happening there was people would come, here's my football run, just not gonna go as low, not gonna go as fast. So what I would see happen there is, I'd be training clients or doing whatever I did there as fitness director, and I would see people come in and they would sort of have this sort of scared look on their face. And they'd, they'd walk in the weight room, they kind of look around and watch all these other people either working with trainers or knowing what they were doing, and they, they would feel so intimidated because they didn't know how to use the equipment, even though they were shown one time. It still wasn't quite enough for them. And they would kind of come in and go through the circuit, but they'd kind of be looking around the whole time and just looked so uncomfortable. And they looked like it was a group, like a clique or a club that they didn't fit into. And it always made me so sad because it just felt like they were just sort of lost. They'd come, they'd go, they'd pay their dues and they wouldn't get as much out of it. They weren't having the social environment that they wanted. All right, so mountain climbers. These are the modified mountain climbers. Got the pink throne here. So use a little chair for yourself, or a couch, or a coffee table, whatever it takes. And the mountain climbers, I'm not even gonna jump. I'm just gonna pull my knee right here, okay? I'm gonna control it nice and tight with my abs. Again, if you have wrist issues, you can take it right here. You know, if you are heavy and you have a tummy in the middle, you can, Mountain climbers, right here. Perfect way to do mountain climbers. Um, some people's blood sugar, uh, or uh, they have low blood sugar. I couldn't come up with it. Probably I have low, low blood sugar too, right? If uh, going down and up for them is a challenge, they get a little lightheaded. So if that's a problem for you, you can do your mountain climber right here or right here. Really what I want you doing during a HIIT workout is I want you moving to the point of getting breathless then take a break in this particular workout. There's no set breaks. So I want you to go until you just need a break and then you can start again. But don't go to full recovery. I'm gonna do my plank jacks here. I can go here. If you don't want the jumping, we're just gonna go plank tap, just like this. I'm gonna move my chair a little bit, okay? So abs still stay nice and tight. Shoulders are strong. Don't sink into your shoulders on these planks, okay? So anyway, back to my little story is <laughs> that uh, after a while I moved out of that gym and started training in my own studio. And the one I'm in now is, is uh, one my husband built for me, which is super cool. Best thing ever. Uh, and it's really a nice environment because people that feel intimidated. Um, I've even had clients that are like 
high up on the food chain in a business, and they don't like working out at a gym because they feel like somehow it shows vulnerability to train in front of their um, employees, things like that. There's lots of different reasons people don't like to go to a gym. Okay, here's your modified burpee. We're gonna go out, in, and up, or out, out. This is super modified, but <laughs> chopping my head off here. But this is okay because burpee is a full body exercise. When you come up, you gotta really work on squeezing all the hamstrings, glutes, back muscles when you take it up. Okay? It's our last one. So, anywho, that's why I'm doing these scopes because I feel like it could help people that are scared to go to the gym and maybe they could get to the point of feeling like the exercises are familiar to them to where they would actually go take a group exercise class or something. So I would love it if you would share. You can share by swiping left to right on your iPhone. You can tap the little guy in the lower right hand corner or you can swipe up on your Android. Share it with your friends. Bring it to the crowd. All right, four seconds to go. I hope you guys are stuck in there. <laughs> Good. All right, so that is it. That's our HIIT workout for today. But let me tell you this. One of the great ways that you can use um, a HIIT workout is right before your strength training workout. So what happens is we have to release fat from the cell so that we can, thanks, I wish I could heart you guys back. So here we go. Um, <laughs> is we want to release fat from the cell so that it's floating around in the bloodstream so that we can, oh, you guys are making the day. Uh, so that we can then use it as a fuel source during our strength workout. So if you're just starting, and that is probably plenty of workout for you for today, that's awesome. If you have been working out for a while, this is a great way, just a quick 10 minute um, after you warm up, throw a HIIT workout like this in and then um, use it right before your strength workout. So we freed up the, the fatty acids into the cell, into the bloodstream, excuse me, to be used, to be pushed and used by our muscles during our strength workout. So my strength workout today, I have some upper body work to do, so my body is all primed and ready to go. It's like, all right, I'm gonna be a fat burner today. If you caught my scope on being a fat versus a sugar burner, it's on YouTube now. Um, then this is one other way that you can train your body to be a, ah, oh, thanks. Another way you can, you should share it with all your friends. <laughs> um, another way you can train your body to be a fat burner versus a sugar burner. I'd love it if you guys would go check that scope out on YouTube because it really explains, it gives you three simple ways to switch gears from being a sugar burner to a fat burner because that's what we want, right? So here's one more way you can do that. Start with the high intensity intervals. You could even just do sprints on your bike at home, for example. 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. Hit it for about 10 minutes and then get into your strength workout. Now, if you're lifting super, super heavy, for example, and building muscle and building massive strength is your goal, you might not wanna start with the sprint intervals because if your goal is to build muscle, your body can only do one thing at a time. It's either gonna be in muscle building mode, I should say very well, okay? It's either gonna be in massive muscle building mode or massive fat burning mode. Now, if your goal is to really like get huge and strong, then putting the intervals beforehand will just fatigue you for that heavy strength training session. So it may not be the best option for that. But if you are doing something like lifting in a rep range of 12 to 15 repetitions because you wanna build a little muscle, not get massive necessarily, then that is not gonna be heavy enough lifting to really have this interval part affect it. So most people could get away with doing the interval first and then doing their strength training session. Okay, so, all right, well, that's all I have for you today. So thanks so much for joining. Thanks for your comments and thanks for your hearts. And um, I haven't committed to any scopes on Tuesday because it's kind of a busy day, but I'm gonna try to fit them in here and there. And my Tuesday scopes, when I do them, are gonna be more about organization, how to get yourself organized so that you have more time in your life for fitness, right? And for eating better. So I haven't decided on tomorrow yet, but I'll look at my schedule and see what I can do, okay? All right, thanks so much. And I'll see you guys for sure, workout Wednesday. We're gonna do a leg series where you don't need any equipment at all. Um, you could use some, but you don't need it. I'm gonna wear my weight vest. So it's a good booty and leg burner. So join me at six o'clock Wednesday morning. All right, thanks so much. Ah. <sighs>